Jared Poland Fronos Photo.com, and we're here to go over the deconstructed image. A lot of you guys were trying to figure out how this picture was taken. Was it done with a flash? Was it done with something else? How was it taken? And I'm gonna show you that here, as well as show you video from the first person shooter project uh, of this image being captured. Now, I will start off by saying that there was no flash used, which is interesting because it just, it kind of looks like there was. It really looks like there was a light coming in from the top left-hand side, freezing him in action in the air, but there was no flash used. And, and it's hard to explain why it looks like this. And I think part of it is it was a really overcast day with a really bright sun behind the clouds. Uh, you could partly, you know, the sun was coming through uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what time this was taken at, but let's take a look at the data here. So I'm going to loop info. I'm going to show info overlay, and we can see what this was taken at. One one thousandth of a second at f4, ISO 1000, 70 millimeters with the 70 to 200 2.8, shooting with the Nikon D3S. Let me see if I can get the time. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was around noon to one o'clock. That's when it was taken. The reason I was at F4 is because I was I was filming kind of that in, instructional video and not everybody's going to have a 2.8 lens. They may have one that does four or more. So that's why I was shooting there. Um, 1000 ISO was to give me a faster shutter speed of a thousandth of a second to try to freeze everything in motion, which is exactly what we did here. You can see that the board is, is tight, nice and sharp and um, everything is frozen here, you know, from the shoes, to the hands, to the head, and F4 was good. I mean, my focus was continuous focus with focus tracking on, which is good because as they come towards you, you want to basically see what's going on. So let's uh, roll the first person shooter video. We're going to see that come in right now, and there's about 10 seconds here. You can see that he does one jump, and now he's coming in closer. He does that other jump, and he, he doesn't land it but I caught it at the time that you see. So that was pretty cool to have the first person shooter ability to see what was actually going on when I was taking the picture so that you could you know, get a feel for how fast the movement was going. So a lot of you guys deconstructed this and came up with some inter interesting things and I realized after the fact that up here the histogram gave away some information. So next time there won't be a histogram to show you what's going on just so uh, you guys will have to deconstruct everything in a, in, without knowing Everything, yeah. So there you saw how the video ran, how quick it happened. Um, no flash was used. I was using the 70 to 200. The background didn't blow out as much because I was at 70. Now if I was at 200, then the background would have blown out even more. But that's, you know, I like to shoot at, out at the longer end, but I expected some tricks to happen before. And when this, you know, when he got closer, I had a pullback on the zoom, which caused me to be at 70, which doesn't compress the background as much. So really, no flash used. I know most people thought that an off-camera flash was used, but I know it's kind of deceiving. When I saw this image in the computer, I was like, wow, how did that happen? How do we get that type of shadow? How do we freeze it just like this? I mean, that's what a thousandth of a second is going to do. But really, everything else was like, geez, how do we, how do we manage to get that shadow and everything coming in from the top corner? But yeah, about noon, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock-ish, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. He had to leave at 2.30. We ate lunch around 2, which makes it between 1 and 2, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's the time we were at. You can see in the background the overcast skies and everything like that. So if you like to deconstruct, you like these deconstruction videos, give a thumbs up to the video so I know that you liked this and we can do it again and see if you guys can break it down even further for future, um, future photos that comes in. So yeah, definitely give a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, leave a comment and everything like that so we can see what you think about the deconstructing the photo uh, exercises. That's about it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!